Hello there, and welcome to my channel, Novice Modelling and the Midlife Crisis. My name is Andy, and I'm just going to do you a quick build catch-up of where I am with my Tamiya 172 Raiden Mitsubishi J2 M3 Jack. Um, as you can see, we've got it painted. That's thanks largely to Uncle Jeff Bezos delivering us a couple of um, new airbrushes today. Um, I'm, I'm quite impressed actually. Um, I'll show you the, show you what I got in a minute. But anyway, um, I'm going to have a drink of this uh, sake because I've never tried it before. Uh, yes, I am aware that um, you're supposed to drink it warm, but I'm not really into that to be honest with you. I'm just going to have it cold because I'm hard. So. Uh, yeah, I'll have a big drink. I deserve it today. So, uh, yeah, hang on a second. Well, that goes down quite easy. That's ridiculous. Why would you want to drink that warm? Anyway, so, um, yeah, we've got a new airbrush through today. And as you can see, we've uh, utilised it. Um, when you uh, when I saw you earlier on today, we just basically put it together and we'd uh, done the finer details on the interior. Um, we've painted the upper surface, and we've actually left this with the um, primer showing. We primed it in white, as this, as per the box, needs to have a an orange identification mark added to it. Um, I kind of thought that it would be easier to do orange on the white than it would be on the green. I don't know, it kind of made sense to me, so I've left that blank at the moment. I masked it off. I'll just take it off the stand. As you can see, we've done the underneath as well. It actually looks not too shabby. I'm really, really happy with that. I mean, it looks pretty good. You know, it's only took me, uh, what, about 15 models to get to this stage. And I think that's... Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think it looks, that, looks, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm actually well chuffed. So I put them back on the stand and I'm going to have uh, a cream colon in celebration. One of my Japanese snacks that we've got. Let's have a look at what this is. It's some sort of biscuity thing. Mmm. With cream inside. It's kind of like a wafer. Oh, that much nice. It's almost as nice as the sake. Mmm, that's pretty good. Yeah. So what I'm going to do uh, shortly, after I've uh, finished this video and done another video, is I'm going to put all the parts on. I'm going to finish uh, trying to try, try and finish doing my. Um, cockpit cover which I'm a bit scared of because I've never done one of them before I'm going to put all the little bits on put the undercarriage put the auxiliary fuel tank on and hopefully I'll be dropping a video tomorrow do a bit of touching up because we have a couple of little bits that have uh, I've got a few problems with do these markings these ID markings and then uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll have that one finished where's the Nakajima I hear you say and Nakajima we've had some problems with because, <laughs> well, the uh, markings on it are quite complicated. Uh, more complicated than I, uh, I kind of took this for granted, to be honest with you. So um, we put our white stripes on. We've put some orange band um, identification markings on. It has a black stripe on the top here, which just needs a bit of touching up around the edges. My red markings have been a bit of a nightmare. I really have, I've, I've struggled to make them what they are as per the, um, as per the cover art. And obviously I've had quite a lot of um, paint seeping from the, um, from the mask as well. And my bands are not quite straight. And obviously this is all hand painted, so it does look, it doesn't look quite as, uh, quite as tasty as that one. I think you'll probably agree. So I'm going to finish that one off as well. So hopefully we'll um, line the two of these up together 
tomorrow at some point. And obviously um, tomorrow we're going to be moving on to our Shinden Kyushu J7W1 experimental interfighter, experimental interceptor, which looks kind of weird as it's got a propeller at the rear and well, it's just kind of got a tail at the front, I suppose. And yeah, it looks kind of it looks kind of cool. So a wax in the box and uh, build that one tomorrow. As I promised, um, we are gonna. I am opening the floor to you for the um, next build on Wednesday, and everybody seems to want to have the Nakajima J1N1S Gecko. So it looks like that's what we're going to be building. If you want uh, any of the other ones in order, please do free to check out my um, Rising Land of the Rising Sunday video and stick a vote in, and I'll do them in order. It's no problem. Tastes like white wine. Uh, I'm also going to have some uh, bubble milk tea mochi. Experimentation. This is a rice cake. Ooh, that looks nice. This is a rice cake and it's uh, got bubble milk tea, whatever that is. Tastes like tea, surprisingly. It just tastes like tea. I don't know what these chocolate things on here are about, but there we go. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm, it's really good. Yeah. So that's where we're at. Like I said, we got a new um how do I open this? We got a new airbrush today. We actually got two because we were getting a uh, two for $39.99. And I must admit, I'm kind of impressed. That is um, the airbrush. It looks basically identical to the one I had before. Um, it actually comes with another hose. It's got a needle in it already. It comes with another three needles. Yeah, another three needles. And three droppers, four droppers, and and another couple of uh, nozzles, three nozzles as well. So I mean, for well, I paid thirty nine thirty nine ninety nine for two of these. Uh, one of them is the other one is slightly different actually. It's a side loading one with a big with a big container as well. So what do you think? Thirty thirty nine quid for for all that. That seems, seems to, I mean, I don't know much about these things, but that seems pretty damn good. And it kind of works. It works all right. So I can't complain at the end of the day. I'm having another one of these. So I'm going to leave you with that, and I'm going to get on with um, finishing these two uh, kits off. And I'll be doing a what's in the box later from the big haul. So these may come out this evening or I might just drop them early on in the morning, depending on what time I uh, get them done. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and join me for Rising Sun Week, where we're going to be building 10 Japanese fighter planes, light bombers, night fighters and float planes and reconnaissance planes. And I'm having fun. It's a bit tiring, but there we go. So anyway, be seeing you.